LM sisters. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hi, Hi guys. guys. So today we will be trying something a little cray cray. So we will be trying. I know you see it. We're gonna be trying cherry Kool-Aid, deep fried cherry Kool-Aid. I know it sounds a little crazy, but it's gonna be a we're gonna be mixing cake mix with Kool-Aid and trying it for Valentine's. So that'll be nice and red. So are you excited for that? I am so excited. We're so excited. So <laughs> be sure to stick around to watch us try and attempt to make the recipe, and that clip will be rolling right now. <laughs> Guys, wow. of course you need the Kool-Aid, so... Okay guys, so we're going to test the oil, so just make sure that it is a steady rolling boil and not too vigorous. So as you can see, it's steady. There. And there she is. Yeah. So that's steady. So you don't want it too crazy. This one looks like a fish. You look like a fish. Look at it, that's a tail. That's the fin on the top, that's its head. Ouch! Oh! Okay. Ali, ali, ali. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, careful. Yeah, We are finally back from making the Kool-Aid, deep fried Kool-Aid. So yes, we're so excited to try. So we actually went ahead and added some toppings. So I don't know if you can see well, but I have uh, ube, I have regular chocolate, and then just a strawberry. And then Loma, what did you have on yours? I just had regular strawberry syrup. Oh, okay. So Loma had regular strawberry syrup. But we're so excited. It, it smells really good when mm -hmm. we when we made it, so I guess we can get started. Oh, and yeah, and on this side, I actually have I have ube. I have an ube drink, purple, to match the uh, food. So yes, I have water. Oh, Loma is just water. So <laughs> and we're gonna party. <laughs> Okay, ready? So that was the one. You did. I'm so nervous. I don't even know what it's gonna taste like. So. Okay. So here, do you need this? Let us know if you've tried it. It was a. 
I was a food from like fair, like those amusement fairs and is it a amu- country fair, country fair, state fair, state fair. <laughs> funny all right can you try it now yeah okay so i'm trying the uh ube first mine looks like a bear <laughs> or like oh, a there's mickey a face. there's yeah. a face oh like sideways yeah. and then mine's a shrimp okay good mm. Mm. whoa It's very, very cherry flavored. It's good. Mmm. Wow. That's what it looks like on the inside. Mm-hmm. It is very fruity. Mm-hmm. I thought it would be more vanilla, but in my drink. Mm. That's good. It was a uh, ube chocolate and what else? Carnation milk. Mmm, interesting. Interesting I like taste. It. Yeah. And then now I'm gonna try the chocolate. Oh my gosh, that looks good. Now, what does this one look like? Mmm. Mmm. This one looks like a. Looks like a heart. Potato. Oh. Or a <laughs> shoe, or a booty shoe. A booty shoe. This. Oh yeah, it does, huh? Mm-hmm. Like the ba- or like the baby socks. Mm. It looks like a moose's head or a <laughs> horse's head, like this. Okay. Mmm. Wow. Mhm. You can t- definitely taste the Kool Aid in it. Yeah. But it's not like, I was expecting it more to be like, Dama. Yeah. Uh, well, I think it, we, we had made our own cake mix at, at home. So I think if we use like a cake mix at the store, it would probably be different, but it, it's probably, still good. Yeah. It's still good. Yeah, it's still good. Probably like just a little bit more vanilla taste. Mm-hmm. But I like it. So yeah, definitely try it out if you guys want to try something different for Valentine's Day. <laughs> Valentine's Day snack. Valentine's Day snack. So what are your thoughts on it? Would how you, would you rate it? How would you rate it? Would you have it again? To be honest, no. Because <laughs> I don't really like sour sour stuff or like fruit flavored but well fruit flavored like something that looks like a cake and tastes like a fruit oh yeah like i hate fruit cakes Mm -hmm. so that's what this reminds me of but it's good the only fruit cake exceptional is the upside down pineapple oh oh, pineapple upside down upside down the upside down (laughs) cake upside down cake yeah those stuff are amazing okay so that was that I guess I can finish my strawberry. Mm-hmm. Now this one looks like a... <laughs> Pick it up. Oops. <laughs> yeah, so this one is just with the strawberry. Okay, okay. Make sure I have my thing here. Interesting. Mmm. Very pink. Interesting flavor. Reminds me of funnel cake too. Oh yeah. I think maybe like the outside. Just more cakey. Mm-hmm. How would you rate it? Mm. Probably like a six point five. 
Six point five. Mm-hmm. Mm. I would rate it at five. Mmm. But that last bite though was really good. Mm-hmm. That was so good, guys. Um, it was good if you like Kool Aid. <laughs> you like Kool Aid. Look at all the sauce they like dripped. A good job. Good job. Loma helped me. Loma was so hesitant on trying it, but I'm glad we did. So overall, for me, I'm gonna rate it at about 6.5, and if I would have it again, probably, probably on a special occasion, but I'm still glad I tried it because it, I had seen it on a news channel, so that's why I wanted to try it. So if you guys want to try it, you can definitely do that. If you like fruity stuff, then this will probably match your taste preference. Mm -hmm. um, how about you? You said that you'll... I rate it at five. Oh. Five. Just in the middle. In the middle. So-so. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so that was everything and thank you so much for tuning into the video and watching us try this crazy uh, recipe with the <laughs> deep fried Kool-Aid. So, deep fried Kool-Aid! So if you did enjoy it, if you could please leave us a thumbs up, that would really, we really appreciate that. And then of course if you would love to share it, that would also help us as well. And as always, make sure to stay tuned for the next video and we will see you next time. Bye! Bye.